This video shows the cabinet assembly of ABB's ACS 580 General Purpose Drive Module. Start by making sure that the cabinet is ready for module installation and proper safety procedures are followed regarding cabinet assembly. After unpacking the drive module, remove the front covers. Install the mounting bracket to the rear part of the module. Attach the air inlet grill to the bottom of the module. Install the metallic shroud. Remove the protective plastic film from the clear plastic back shrouds before installation. Begin cabinet preparation by attaching the Rittle support rails to the base of the cabinet. The support rails must be prepared with drilled holes before attaching them. Once this is done, attach the pedestal guide plate to the support rails. Measure the correct height before attaching the punched sections to the cabinet frame. Note that the cabinet door must be equipped with large enough air inlet grills to allow sufficient airflow in and out of the cabinet. This is critical for proper cooling of the drive module. You can now install the module inside the cabinet. Start by measuring the height of the cabinet plinth. Adjust the telescopic ramp accordingly and attach it to the support rails. Remember to tightly secure the mounting screws of the ramp and temporarily attach the drive module with chains to the cabinet frame. Push the drive module inside the cabinet and remove the ramp and the chains. Then attach the base of the module to the support rails and the top of the module to the punched section. This will ground the drive module to the cabinet frame. Install the motor cable terminals to the module. Start by installing the grounding terminal to the drive module base. Install the terminals to the insulators. This makes the module ready for motor cabling. The next step is to install the shrouds to the drive module. Please note that there is a separate ordering code for the shrouds. Start by attaching the front covers to the drive module. Before installing the shrouds, Step drill holes in the input cable and the motor cable lead through shroud. Install the bottom shroud and the shroud for the upper part of the module. The air baffles must be installed inside the cabinet to prevent any hot air circulation. Otherwise, there is a risk that the warm air leaving via the top of the module might re-enter the module through its air inlets from below. The air baffles must be prepared to match the inside shape of the cabinet. Install the middle section of the front cover and the control panel holder. The cabinet assembly is now complete. 
For more detailed information, please see the hardware manual or quick installation guide available from the ABB website.